Hi, so the book that I decided to talk about for my book talk is The Nazi Hunters by Neil Bascom. This book is nonfiction and talks about the career of Adolf Eichmann, his capturing in Argentina, and his trial that took place in Israel. The author, Neil Bascom, has written five other nonfiction books that have all won numerous awards and accolades. They've been placed on bestseller lists, they've been optioned for films, and they've all won numerous awards. This book won the award for, won the YALSA award and the award for best nonfiction book for young readers in 2014. Neil Bascom has also written another book about Adolf Eichmann entitled Hunting Eichmann, and it's geared more for adults. It's about 400 pages and is just really more in depth and involves a lot more detail about the capturing of Adolf Eichmann. This book is the same storyline but is geared more towards young adults and as you can see this book is much shorter and around 200 pages. I found this book to be very enjoyable and I picked it because I had previously studied abroad in Germany and I've become very interested in World War II. And so when I found that this was an option for us to read, I jumped at the chance. Um, let's see, this book reads like a novel, and so that's very entertaining, and it's a very quick read, and very enjoyable. Um, the first part of the book, the first chapter, talks about Adolf Eichmann's career in the Nazi party and his position. Um, for those of you who don't know, Adolf Eichmann was very high in the Nazi party, and he was in charge of the allocation and treatment of the Jews during World War II. Um, I'm actually going to read a part that discusses his plan and how he was going to treat the Jews. It says, Stage one was to isolate the Jews. They would be ordered to wear yellow star emblems on their clothes, forbidden to travel or to use phones and radios, and banned from scores of professions. He would remove them from Hungarian society. Stage two would secure Jewish wealth for the Third Reich. Factories and businesses would be taken over, bank accounts would be frozen, and the assets of every single individual would be seized down to their ration guards. Stage three, the ghettos. Jews would be uprooted from their homes and sent to live in concentrated, miserable neighbor neighborhoods until the fourth and final stage could be effected, the camps. As soon as the Jews arrived at those, another SS department would be responsible, responsible for their fate. They would no longer be Adolf Eichmann's concerned. That's how he saw it. And so the first chapter talks about Eichmann and his career. And then the majority of the book talks about how he was later found in Argentina because he fled so that he wouldn't be persecuted for his crimes against the Jews. And so, um, how he was found and captured in Argentina, and then how the Israeli Secret Service brought him and tried him in Israel, in Tel Aviv. Um, the main portion of the book is how the Israeli Circuit Service found out about Eichmann in Argentina and how they captured him. So, the first chapter just talks about his career, and then the last chapter just talks about the trial. Um, and I found this, that to be a little interesting. Personally, I would have liked to learn more about the trial and know more about what happened then rather than how they got from point A to point B. But that's just my opinion. Let's see. Um, this book is also very cool in that it includes multiple pictures. Of, this is Adolf Eichmann in Argentina of his documentation and the passports and things that they used while trying to get Eichmann out of Argentina into Israel. And so it's very cool and very informational. Um, let's see, on Amazon, this it says that the age of the reader is 12 and up. And I agree with that and that the language used is very simple and fits with that grade level. But I personally would have put this higher up and would recommend this for a high schooler just because of the content. Um, when I was in fifth grade, I didn't know much about World War II, and so a lot of the stuff that happened in the book would have just gone over my head. 
And that's another thing that I wanted to talk about. This book um, provides very little background information about the war. And so if you don't know certain things, then it gets very confusing. Like if you don't know what the SS is or names of certain concentration camps such as Auschwitz or Doberdavo, then you may not understand certain portions of the book. And so I feel like some background info would have been needed and would be more helpful to read along with the book. Um, let's see. I also found it interesting that um, in this book they have a discussion where it talks about how Eichmann didn't believe that he what he did was wrong. Um, he believed that he was just following orders and was doing his job. And he didn't think that he was in the wrong and that he should have been punished for what he did. And I'm going to read a couple of quotes about that. Let's see, No, definitely not, Eichmann said. He spoke forcefully as if he had been waiting for the question. Number one, I did nothing wrong. All I did was follow orders. You could never prove that I committed a crime. And then later on, he continues to say, um, Are you going to kill me? Eichmann asked. No, we are going to bring you to trial, to a fair trial, the chance you never gave your victims. Then Malkin asked Eichmann, How did you come to do what you did? It was an order, a job I had to do. Just a job, Malkin said. Are you not a soldier? Don't you have your orders? You captured me. Why did you do it? Because of an order. Yes, I got an order to capture you, but there's a big difference between you and me. I had an order to catch a criminal, but you went after innocent people. They had done nothing wrong at all. You followed those orders because you hated these people. No, I, in a way, I love the Jews. And I found it very interesting that Eichmann really, truly didn't believe that he had done anything wrong. When we can clearly see that the whole... All the Jews had been exterminated during the World War, and what was done to them was so harsh and so cruel. And I think that if I were to use this in a classroom, I think that topic alone would be something that I could use as a group discussion, and discussion of right and wrong and morals. Um, and I'm really glad that they included that portion of the argument, because I think it's very important to cover both sides and to see his point of view as well. Um, overall, I really thoroughly enjoyed this book. I found it to be very interesting and very informative. As a teacher, I would recommend this to my students, and I think it's a great read. Thank you.